We shot a commercial on the C70 with an anamorphic lens. Check it out. Everyone says coffee is about the buzz. It's your fuel to go faster, do more. We think coffee and life should be simple, slower. We think coffee should make you stop, sip, and notice. The wind in the trees, the sun on your child's face in the morning, the small, sacred things. Yes, coffee is fuel, but let it fuel your gratitude, your relationships, your hopes, your bloom. If you're an OG subscriber of my YouTube channel, you remember that I shot this wedding in 2017 in Yosemite. I took a discount for it to get it in my portfolio and it ended up being an incredible decision for me marketing wise and booking more work. It's really wild. I've been teaching this way of marketing and investing in your company for years now on my channel. Instead of taking your money and putting it into traditional things like ads on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Wedding Wire, wherever you want to run ads, you would invest in coming down in your pricing and meeting people's budgets, their budget, your rates. <laughs> and in that business negotiation, like lots of other industries do when it comes to business, you'll then be guaranteed to have portfolio pieces and have work that you could put on your website and showcase to other people to prove what you're capable of. Now, while this won't be the thing that you do forever in your specific niche, your creative niche, your business niche, this will be a way for you to justify those premium rates that you want to charge eventually. This wedding film in Yosemite wowed so many people that it ended up booking me tens of thousands of dollars of work in the coming years. And I went all out for it. I rented a 5D Mark IV from Borrow Lenses. I brought my new Ronin M. I brought my other 5D Mark III's, two of them, so th three cameras. I pulled out all the stops I possibly could. I filmed like 800 gigs of footage in 1080p. It was, it was stupid. <laughs> and while many people say that gear doesn't matter, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about why gear doesn't matter. I knew that it actually did at this point. I knew that that upping in production value was going to prove itself in the edit and in the eventual story that I was able to craft and share with the world. So the question you're all asking, Eric, why are you telling this story? If it wasn't blaringly obvious at this point, Ellie and Tyler started a coffee company called Bloom Time Coffee. It's insane how many parallels there are to the story of their wedding and the production of this commercial. Tyler reached out to me via email in spring of 2022 to see if I was interested in doing a commercial for them and to meet their budget, I figured I could maybe add a sponsor into a YouTube video, make a video like this, make it work so I could pay my friends to be a full production crew for the entire commercial. And I want to try something new for myself in doing commercial production. I've always wanted to shoot anamorphic, so I asked Bar Lenses if they had an anamorphic lens and, oh, doing it again. <laughs> we had no idea what we were doing. Oh, oh, oh wow, it's got two class keys on each side. The Movi. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's cool. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Similarly to the 5D Mark IV in Yosemite, me not knowing what to do with that camera, I mean, I've had the C70 for a little while now, at least half a year, but I never shot with an anamorphic. I've never shot with the Movi Free Fly or um, a Terra Deck or pulling focus or even how to de squeeze a two times anamorphic lens in post. So, the resolution of this conflict here is community, is having the people around me that I know and trust who I would trust to be on a production like this, even if we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> kind of a game of, of sanity and emotional support with all of us kind of not having an idea, taking a day and a half to figure it out in studio, practicing with it, and then feeling confident enough on the shoot to try something new. It's great because there's not a ton of pressure in this situation. I know this couple, I know this company, I have saw it start, I know their story, and so they have grace in the process, which is super cool too. Traditionally on a film set or a commercial set, you have an executive producer, a director, director of photography, first AC, gaffer, hair and makeup artist. There's all these roles. We obviously didn't do these formal roles because we're informal. <laughs> I guess if you wanted to give us formal roles, I was the director of photography, director and producer of the whole thing. And Steven was first AC pulling focus and a grip for lighting and gaffer. Gene was more of gaffer, grip, 
PA and sound mixing with the voiceover. Shua did all the BTS and PA work as well. So let's have a look at all the scenes, uh, how we pulled focus and lit everything and even did sound for the voiceover. But I do need to thank the sponsor of this video, this entire production, making this possible, Borrow Lenses. I've been using Borrow Lenses since the beginning. When they reached out to me, I was really kind of freaking out because like one of the first Instagram posts I ever made was my rental of three lenses when I was trying to improve my photography portfolio. I rented the 35 prime, a 45 tilt shift, and an 85 prime. And I was so proud to use those lenses to make my work look better. And it did make my work look better. And it helped me book more and more weddings. And then I started renting those lenses over and over until I could purchase them. Borrow Lenses is just an incredible place to up your production value with tons of ease. They ship it straight to you wherever you want. And then they give you return labels to just slap on the box once you're done and send it off. So especially if you don't have a rental house near you, you're not in a big city or that isn't close drivable distance, it's just insanely convenient. Whether it's renting that new prime lens or a tilt shift lens to improve your portraits and make stuff look different in your portfolio, or you want to rent a cinema camera to do a production like we did, they have a multitude of options on their site. Even if it's just you renting something before you make the decision to buy it, this is a great place to do it. And if you're a first time customer with Borrow Lenses, you can use my code FLOWBERG and get 20% off your first order. It's wild that this is one of the first companies I used in my career with shooting weddings that I used them for Ellie and Tyler's wedding and now I'm using them again in this new evolution of my business into commercial shooting. So thanks again for sponsoring this video, Borrow Lenses and making all of this a reality. Okay, Cinebox. Cinebox. It's my Christmas day. Cinebox. Ooh, it's got a little, little push. Okay. Oh yeah. Yep. That's gonna be nice. Ooh, it's got the email in the back. That's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's got tenos. ET phone home. <laughs> ET doesn't even have, an have antennas. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here's his lens. Oh my god. Okay, wow. Wow. Sheesh. Wow. Holy. None of us has ever used a Mobi Pro in, in our lives. I'm trying to figure this out. It's Wednesday, the shoot is Friday morning. Kind of getting there, not so confident. Tuning. Okay, there's a whole tuning section. Frustration and confusion has led to this moment. This glorious moment. <laughs> Where we still don't. No, we're good. Yeah. No. No, right. go over there. Okay. <laughs> and we'll <laughs> focus while I film Josh filming me. Okay. <laughs> and I have like five minute acts on how long I can hold it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have arms. Get yourself right out. Okay, do a flare. Flare? Do a flare and hit the lens. Make it a make it a flare. Oh, flare. Oh, I see it. I go on the movie, dude. I am like dying right now. I'm really happy we got it to actually work. <laughs> it same. 20 minutes ago, didn't think this would be the case today. <laughs> Perfect. Right? Is, does that look right though? Yeah. Careful that's that unbalanced the camera. Yeah. It should unbalance it. As long as it Okay, you ready? How do you feel? I'm Pretty good. Full stress, pretty good. 
That's oh, so, it's so good. It's, like it's so cool. It's like butter. Oh my god. I'm just export that. Like the way the way this lens is uh, is rendering everything is very pretty. Hmm. It's got some nice. Wait till we go outside. Oh, I can't wait. Dude. And like in their backyard, like, they have chickens. Like it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Coffee. The coffee sequences will be nuts. Scenes guy today. Oh, you're fine. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Oh, there's zero minutes left. <laughs> Wait, is it rolling? Oh, yeah. Hey. Which one? Because yeah. yeah. that's just the. That's just for. Josh is here. I think Jeez you forgot here. one important bit. Oh. <laughs> Wait, can you take the cap off? <laughs> I don't know if I can. Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I actually want to see what the field of view. I kind of want to do that later. On the camera gear. Okay, yeah. That's awesome. Well, this is a monster looking yeah. thing, so. <laughs> so let's jump right in. Um, I want to show you the BTS of how we got this morning looking image. We set up the Aperture 300X outside of this dining room sequence. There was no diffusion. We just had the cone on the front blasting warm light from the 300X right into the room emulating a sunrise since it was a cloudy morning. So we got this sequence of Tyler preparing the coffee, actually doing the pour over, and you get that beautiful horizontal morning looking light that looks indecipherable from what the sun would actually be. So one of my favorite tricks, putting a light outside a window and emulating the sun. Moving into the next sequence here, I wanted a family shot of them sitting on a blanket out in the backyard. This is what they normally do as a family, have their coffee out in the backyard with their chickens in the chicken coop. So I front lit it at first and then just didn't like how flat that looked. So that sun was breaking through the clouds. And so I went to the back of the backyard and backlit the scene, which looked much more dynamic, shooting shadow side with the light pouring in from the back. So I just kind of got a few wides and worked my way in tight to get all of these different angles of them holding the kids and just enjoying their time. A little trick that we used outside that I've seen on film sets before, we set up the negative flag in back of the monitor for Steven with pulling focus so that he would be blocked from the sunlight. And then this is the part where we emulated the shot that I got from their wedding day the same exact pose, but on our setup for the commercial, which was just really cool to see it um, actually work. This was super fun. We used a four by four scrim to diffuse the sunlight for this shot. As I said, the sun was breaking through the clouds. So we just used the sun as a key and used the scrim as diffusion to get that beautiful balanced light on Ellie's face. This lens has a really hard time focusing at T2, so we were shooting this at T2.8 to T4. And then this sequence in the office, we had a Godox tube light kind of sandwiched in the window there, if you could see that. Just kind of giving some hair light, some room light to the shot. Again, shooting shadow side, closing those blinds on the left side there. And we did the sequence about 10 times, me just pushing in to get that wide shot at first. And then the action of him sipping the coffee, putting it down, and getting back to work on his laptop. And since it was only a 30 second spot, um, a 30 second ad, we just didn't have that much to shoot that morning. So we, we need, need to do the voiceover still. So Gene set up this makeshift sound booth with a sound blanket hanging over a C-stand. And then we brought in the negative flag to fill out the other side just to dampen all the room noise and any echo that we'd find in that room. So just sandwiched in that corner there. We had the Shure SM7B going through a cloud lifter into a recorder. We had the Zoom H5. So I was monitoring audio as Ellie was trying a few takes and didn't like how it sounded. It was kind of hissy. So I knew that the preamps in the C70 would do a great job. So I ended up actually switching the XLR out of the Zoom recorder and putting it straight into camera. So this is where I was just filming Josh while 
in 720p while Ellie delivered the lines for the voiceover. And finally, we headed to the city and shot some pickup shots for the chaotic beginning. I took it off the Movi just to get that um, sort of chaotic feel handheld. Things were not necessarily in focus all the time, um, but I did have the Video Mic Pro on top of the camera to capture scratch audio for sound design and included more sound design in post. But I really loved the idea of a chaotic beginning to really just show that um, people use coffee a lot in that hectic environment and using it as fuel in that way. And um, it being a, a stark contrast to the calm scenes we shot at the house. And I share all this because I think you should try new things, give discounts, get creative with your business. A lot of people think that they just need to be creative with their artistic mediums. Figure out ways to make stuff work so you can have portfolio pieces that you're proud of, that showcase your work, what you're capable of, what you and a team are capable of. There's just a, so much you could do creatively with your business outside of just having the normal rates everyone says you're supposed to have. Too many people get inquiries with budgets that are below their price range or what their rates are and we'll just pass up on all of them. But if you see potential within that inquiry to be something that is a portfolio piece for you to prove to future clients what you are worth, take it from time to time and get creative with how you approach it. There's no one right way to invest in you and your business, so get creative and make it happen. Shout out to Ellie and Tyler for their awesome new coffee business. If you're interested in getting any of their stuff, that's linked below second spot in the description. Go support them. Thanks again, Borrow Lenses, for sponsoring this video. Y'all are legends, and I hope you enjoyed all of this long, long video. This is where you do the YouTube. Is that how these end? Sure, go for it. Everyone says coffee is about the buzz. It's your fuel to go faster, do more. We think coffee and life should be simple, slower. We think coffee should make you stop, sip, and notice the wind in the trees, the sun on your child's face in the morning, the small, sacred things. Yes, coffee is fuel, but let it fuel your gratitude, your relationships, your hopes, your bloom.